Mariupol currently remains contested as Russia's bombardment continues. While Moscow claimed that Ukrainian soldiers had surrendered in the besieged port city, the Ukrainian Defense Ministry said they have no information about such claims. Yi Xiu has the latest. Fighting continues in Ukraine. A five-hour battle took place on Tuesday in the Polohi district of the southeastern region of Zaporizhzhia. And according to the Pentagon, the besieged poor city of Mariupol currently remains contested as Russia's bombardment continues. A Ukrainian Armed Forces General Staff spokesperson also said on Wednesday that Russian forces are continuing to launch airstrikes in the city and they are undertaking an offensive near the Azovstal steel plant. In the southern direction, the enemy is trying to seize individual settlements, but without success. But according to Reuters, Russia's defense ministry claimed on Wednesday that over 1,000 soldiers of Ukraine's 36th Marine Brigade had surrendered in the city. However, the Ukrainian defense ministry spokesperson Alexander Matuzyanyuk said he had no information about those claims. The city's fate is said to greatly influence the next phase of war as it would signal control of territory connecting Russia's two fronts in the south and east. Previously, Ukraine had described Mariupol as the heart of the war. Meanwhile, President Zelensky accused Russia of using phosphorus bombs in Ukraine during a virtual address to the Estonian parliament. He added that Moscow was using terror tactics on civilians. While Zelensky did not provide evidence for his claims, the UK's Ministry of Defense has warned of heightened risk that Russia could use phosphorus bombs as part of its siege of Mariupol. U.S. President Joe Biden on Tuesday called the alleged atrocities in Ukraine a genocide, a word that world leaders and some U.S. officials had been hesitant to use. President Biden made the remark to reporters on Tuesday local time after speaking at an event in Iowa about rising energy prices. None of it should hinge on whether a dictator declares war and commits genocide in a half a world away. President Biden had previously used the term war crimes when referring to the situation in Ukraine. President Zelensky took to Twitter later on Tuesday to commend Biden for his use of the word. Yi Shihu, Arirang News.